I am the worst football manager ever and welcome back to episode two of the Gloucester, not the Gloucester Gamble. What's that? What's the Gloucester Gamble? That, that doesn't even exist anymore. I'm the worst football manager ever and welcome to episode two of the Gosport Gamble. The Gosport Gamble is my new save, new management they've received in the likes of the worst football manager ever and I've taken them on after being sacked from Gloucester. And uh, those of you who joined me for the first episode, um, thank you for all the support and the likes and the, the views that you've been uh, giving that one. Really uh, glad that people enjoying it. Um, since then, I've played a few more games. Now, that last game was my first game against Ebbsfleet, where I lost 5-2, which is a pretty awful start, to be fair. But things have been looking up since. And since then, I drew three, and I've just won against Whitehawk, my first game um, out under as Gosport manager. So let me just show you a quick, brief rundown of what happened there, because I played Concord Rangers twice in a row. And you can see here that they went ahead after five minutes, and I was like, brilliant, had it, lost it, we're out. But on the 89th minute, my boy Jamie White, this is the fella here, 26-year-old Jamie White, finishing 15, arc 15, um, scored for me on the 89th minute, which I was so pleased about there. Um, and then the next game against Concord Rangers, I thought, you know what, I think we've, we've, we've done one all, we've done one all, I think we can do better than that. So we played them again, but unfortunately... Um, we got a draw and let me show you what happened in that round because in that one one all again we finished and this time um, Concord took the lead after the 80th minute and I was like we were doing so good until the 80th minute and they scored and then George Barker that time this time on the 90th minute scored uh, a goal so George Barker is um, attacking midfielder right or left but really predominantly he's been my striker um, you can see here he's got eight goals in the league this season after 34 appearances. Not the best striker we've got, but at least he scored a goal. So that meant I drew the second, well, my third game in charge and the second one in a row against Concord there. Um, the next game, we then played another game and drew that as well. These highlights have taken ages to load. Here we go. Um, that game finished 2 all against Sutton United. So this one here, we actually took the lead after Justin Bennett, you know, the old guy, the striker, um, who give him a ball, shoot it, and he'll score it. Um, first minute he scored. Um, we then went 2-0 up with George Barker scoring again on the 33rd minute. But unfortunately, Stuart Fleetwood for Sutton then scored two. Actually ended up winning player of the match for that as well. So unfortunately, we drew two all again. But let's just check out the league because Sutton United are sitting on top of the league. So we drew two all with top of the league, which I was so pleased about. And anyway, the next game that we played, and that was the last game I've just played, was against Whitehawk. Um, Whitehawk, third, well, they were sitting second in the league until I came along and destroyed them. Um, look at this, 2-1 we won against Whitehawk here. Um, Joe Anyansar on the 30th minute scored. I've been playing Anyansar, and I'll show you in a minute, a 4-3-3 formation with him as one of the strikers. He scored, and then we had a penalty after 55th minute. Jamie White scored a penalty, and then they could get one back on the 82nd minute. It was all a little bit tense, all a little bit uncomfortable, but we held out for the victory in the end and won. So I'm so pleased with the way we've started. So we now find ourselves in 11th place, which is one notch up. We've actually gone up a league position under my management. Can we just all remember, can we just, maybe you need to get a pen and write that down. Um, you know, all I'm saying is that was me. I've taken them from 12th to 11th. And if that's the accomplishment I can, the biggest accomplishment I have, as the management manager of Gosport, then so be it. But there we go. Um, thanks very much, everyone. It's been great having you, and we'll see you later. But anyway, um, so there we go. We um, we have gone four games without losing. Um, we did go three games without winning. In fact, we went five games without winning, um, including the game that I didn't play as manager. But we are now four games without losing. So I'm so pleased. And our next game we play, and we're going to play today, is against Basingstoke who are sort of lower than me in the league. They are just above relegation zone here, 36 played, and they've even got 39 points. They are five points away from being relegated here. And actually, you know one thing I said in the last game, which I, I regret saying, and it was a lie. I lied to you, I'm afraid. Because one of the things I said in my last episode was, there's tons of season left. Um, what a load of rubbish. What a load of absolute toilet. Because you look at these games here. I took over at Ebbsfleet. Here, we've played one, two, three, we've played five games in charge, and there are only six games left of the season. What? So, six games left of the season, there's not really much to go. But one thing I have noticed 
is that I am only five points away from playoffs. So who knows? Who knows? I don't want to say anything, but who knows? Is all I'm saying. It's all I'm saying. So let's just jump ahead to this game, shall we? Let's play this next game against um, Basingstoke, and I will show you the team I'm playing with and the fixture, the, the setting up setup I've got at the moment. You see, what we have been going for in the last couple of games is a 4-3-3. Three up front has been working really well for me. I've been scoring goals um, and actually being playing quite tight as well at the back. Um, so we are going to be playing 4-3-3 and we're going in control for this game against Basingstoke. Um, instructions here, we're going slightly deeper. We are looking for the overlap, more direct passing um, and sort of pretty balanced in terms of width we're going for. Um, and we'll see where it goes from there. If we need to change things about, I always can. But um, at the back here, we've got Yuga and Wheeler, both playing as fullback supports there, just trying to give a little bit of support for the midfield with only three of them there. In the centre backs, we've got Greenidge and um, De Gracha, and this is my fella here from, on loan from Arsenal um, in centre back. Midfield, we have got Ben Harding, um, uh, Perry Ryan, and um, Carter there, uh, Mike Carter, um, all vaguely solid midfielders there. We've got a couple of ball winning midfielders in there, one sort of support and one's defend. Um, and we've got a central midfielder with Ben Harding there as well. And then up front, we've got Barker, White and Anjan Saar. Um, and then on the bench here, I have got Justin Bennett if I need him. The other player I've got is Andy Robinson, who's a great midfielder, probably one of my better midfielders, but he's just a bit tired at the moment. I don't want to, you know, I don't want to use him up all fully. Um, just taking a quick look here, and we have got some tired legs here. Kelly Yuga, um, my left back here, is looking a bit tired. I have got Brett Pote here, who by no means is he particularly great, but he has now played um, for me when I've been in management, and he did play before. Before I managed the team, he did play a little bit as well. Older player, reasonably reliable, strong leadership, heading, corners, crossing, passing. Like, not bad, you know? So what I think I might do is I might bring him on as... Um, yeah, I, I tell you what, I'm going to go risky, and I'm going to not have a keeper, but I'm going to bring Bet Brett... Brett Pote, or is it Poate? Poate, maybe Brett Poate. He's going to play uh, in left, um, in the subs. He'll be on the bench from the beginning. So there we go. That's the team for today. Wish me all the best. Um, Basingstoke. It's always good, right, when you play a team who you've managed before on FM, right? Before before these YouTube days, before I um, made videos, I used to um, manage Basingstoke. And so I know some of their players, some of these players here, and many of them I recognise um, and know what they're kind of like as well, which is quite helpful, really. Um, let's just get back to the match. The, the likes of um, Liam Envermarum, who isn't playing today. Here's, a, here's their, here's their uh, team. Corkery, May, Dunbird. Robbie Rice is a, is a favourite of theirs. Um, actually, Joe Tiberi is one of their better players, and he's not on the starting, as is Sean McCauley, as is Chris Flood. So it's interesting that some of these players are on the bench. Um in favour of some of these new players that they brought in. I think this is Tom Bird, if I remember rightly, who's not bad as a um, as a wing back. Well, yeah, it's Tom Bird. We'll mark him up, and Will Salmon as well. I recognise them as um, pretty decent players, so we'll mark them up. We'll. Uh, I tell you what, I'm not going to mark them actually. I'm just going to close them down the wing backs. Um, because, yeah, if you mark the wing-backs, then it's probably a bit of a waste. But we, they do just need closing down if they start trying to attack from the side there. And that will probably do. It'd be uh, appropriate. Ask the team to take revenge. OK, ask the team to take revenge, boys. They look up for it. Let's get off the back of this 2-1 win and let's push things forward. If we can beat second in the league, we can beat Basingstoke. Do you know what I mean? We're at home. We're in Gosport. Come on, boys. Let's have a good end to this season. Just to let you know, my plan is um, to have probably one more game of this season, um, just so you can see, as I still get used to the side, one more video um, of a game from this season. And then next week, um, I'll start the next season, my second season in charge, and second season on the game, actually, as well. Um, hopefully, just playing these, however, 10 games or so in this season, hopefully will give me a bit of a chance to see what the team are like, who I need to replace in, in, um, in, in pre-season. Uh, who I need to sell, who I need to get in. If you have any thoughts as to who would be worthwhile getting rid of, that would be quite helpful. Um, and um, what I'll do is look to kind of see where which, which gaps I've got in the squad. Um, initial thoughts are defence, central defence, 
but wingers as well, wide players, because I'm not sure if I'm going to stick with this 4-3-3 all the time, because, um, well, I just think you, you need that versatility. You need you need that, you know, you just need a bit of difference, don't you, now and then. Okay, so here we go. Uh, some of these players looking a bit tired. Oh, just an update on the fitness as well. I've now got a fitness coach in, um, and I now have a head of youth development in as well. So I've been able, I've approached the board, and the, bro the board let me increase the amount of staff I was able to have. So bringing on a fitness coach has been really helpful. Um, I got rid of one of my coaches who was just absolutely awful. I looked at his attributes, and it was like a sea of ones. Um, and I thought, crikey, here's Ryan with a corner. Oh, held bomb how there. That's the first real full highlight we've had after 27 minutes which is not that good we've had seven shots so far two on target Basingstoke only had two we've got all the possession so far and all the play really is Anyansar on the break Joe Anyansar brought it into the box here's a cross Barker yes Barker takes the lead George Barker 13th goal of the season well done Anyansar there did you see him just took it round a play held onto it I think I found this guy Anyansar found his sort of spot here I tried him just as a straight winger and he wasn't that great but now he's this sort of striker winger look at that he holds it up here's, holds it up there's a slight cross there and Barker smashes it you know when you're like really close to the net but you decide to smash it anyway um, it's good it's good stuff Okay, we are one 0 up. This is good, a good, good start here, boys. And here's done. Here's a uh, Basingstoke on the attack here. May across to Harper, across to Brown. Small passes here. Done. <sighs> Got past the defenders there. Oh, dangerous play from Basingstoke. But if we can go into the break, at least 1-0 up, maybe even more. It's Wheeler on the win. Look at how much space he's got. This is great stuff from Wheeler. There's a... <gasps> oh, he's off the bar. Barker. Collects the ball. Has he still got it? No, he lost it. It's Kelly Yuga. Ah. Whoa, off the bar. Off the bar, boys. Okay, 34 minute, uh, 35th minute we're into. Still got all the possession, really, and we've had so many more shots than them. This is good stuff. This is good that we're just creating these chances. Kelly Yuga, 67%. They are looking tired. Um... Yes, they are looking a bit tired, but we'll see what it's like at half time. If we can just hold on till half time, this is great stuff from them. Let's just get them to concentrate as we get near the end of this end of this half. I don't want them to give away a I don't want them to give away a goal just for half time. That'll be an absolute nightmare. Okay, fifty nine. This is great half, boys. It's a great half from us. I'm very happy about this one. Could we get our second win under my management? This is going to be exciting if we do. Um, okay. Wasn't the worst half I've ever seen. Just tells me there's room for improvement. Of course there's room for improvement, boys. Always room for improvement. Um, I'll go assertive. Still room for improvement. Come on. How are they going to react to that? It's, uh, not so much. Not so much reaction there. It's more just whatever. Let's give them a bit of encouragement from this sort of way. They always respond to that. The passionate, you've got it. What, what you've you've got what it takes. I believe in you. All very Disney, I think. Wonderful stuff. Wonderful stuff. Okay. Also, just to give you a little bit of a um, an update, I'll read the Pinecone involvement. Um, I will. I am looking. I am in discussions with Pinecone to see if he fancies being an assistant manager to me. I said to him uh, officially, um, the league rules state that assistant managers have to be human. Um, but the Pinecone said he really wants the job, even if he can go under the under the radar so still in discussions about it but we'll find out um so stay tuned for that uh, we might find that pinecone gets involved near the back end of the season or early next season um however if you are keen for him to um, be involved then please leave me a comment below just saying bring back pinecone or pinecone for manager or something like that whatever you want you know just just let me know that you want the pinecone because really i think we need um, fans involvement as much as uh, it coming from the board and you know from the official places you know Pine Pinecone he's quite a you know he's, he's a sensitive soul um, it could do with some help meanwhile Corkery while I'm blabbering away Corkery's on the attack and uh, plays out wide for some terrible reason and Bird loses it oh dear Wheeler gave it away back to oh Martin Harper edge of the box mate this is so messy and it's a penalty that was so messy that was incredibly messy 
that all, it was all over the place. Everyone was giving away the ball. It was all over the shop. This is not good. Okay. Um, I'm going to encourage him after this. If you, Just just click encourage there. Robbie Rice. He saved it! He saved it! Yeah! Oh, yes! What a ledge! What a hero! He saved it! Oh, my word. Oh, my goodness. Right, come on, boys. Concentrate. Oh, come on. I want to do a team talk. I can't do a team talk. This is incredible scenes. What scenes? Oh man. My my. He's he's looking cut. He's looking frustrated now. Come on. I want to give a bit of a team talk here. This is this is great stuff. This is exciting. Sean McCauley's been brought on here. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Let me just look at the opposition instructions here. Um, okay, Sean McCauley's been brought in as the centre midfielder, as you can see there. Um, wing backs are still the same. Up front, still the same. So in that case, I'm going to stick it as it is. We're not going to make any changes that way. Um, let's just continue with the game. But I wanted to check that because sometimes, you know, when the t if they change... Um, they change their formation or they change a sub you don't automatically start marking the guy who's been who they've replaced which is a shame <gasps> Joe Anionsar's injured this is not good oh my boy guy set up the goal is injured we have to go bring on um, Justin Bennett who will sit in there as the uh, oh, advanced forward let's give him an advanced forward role and we'll put still have Jamie White as the poacher that's his he's best, he's best suited to a poacher oh dear um, okay, what we're going to do is we're going to just go into counter-attack now and we're going to go a little bit slower and we're going to take a breather. Just need to slow things down a little bit of these last 10 minutes. Justin Bennett, come on. I should, yeah, 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 yeah. Maybe I shouldn't have gone counter. Should I not have gone counter here? We've been doing all right in control, really, haven't we? Let's Let's go back to control. Don't trust myself in counter. You know what I mean? When you're doing all right as it is, he's white on the side of the 18-yard box. Can he Can he put it in? Or is he going to dribble it himself? Oh, he has the shot. It was saved from Hal. Oh, this is exciting. This is exciting. Let's, um, let's make some time-wasting uh, changes here. Let's bring off um, Greenidge here for Sam Pierce. And um, who else have we got here? He's looking a bit tired. To be honest, the other defender as well is looking tired. We'll bring him on as well. Brett Poate. Brett Poate. Um, he'll go in left centre. Yeah, that's good. That's good. That's fine. Um, this is good. 87th minute. This could be good. This could be good. <laughs> Brilliant. Such a such an orator. Um, 88th minute. 89th minute. Come on, boys. This is exciting. Can we hold on? Can we hold on just this little bit longer? Four minutes of extra time. Why is there always so much injury time when you're winning? Okay, I'm going to do another sub. Um, who have we got? Andy Robertson. Let's just bring off uh, Mike Carter, who's on a yellow. Oh, I, have I already made three? I've already made three, everyone. I've already made three. Um, I've already made three. Come on. Unfortunately, that didn't even waste any time because I paused the game. It's Ashmore with the pump up the field to Barker get onto it Bennett what's he going to do with it he's lost it Sean McCauley onto the ball he, this boy's dangerous Sean McCauley bit of a Basingstoke favourite in his corkery on the ball 15 seconds to go they're going to have to do something with yes Poate just boot hoof it mate he's Ray on the ball surely it's too late surely it's too late for anything now it's got to be Robbie Rice yes yeah, come on, three points in the bag. And that was too late for them. Parry of the match, player of the match, Kelly Ugar. What a hero that man is with a 7.5. <laughs> He's man of the match with a 7.5. That isn't very good, really, is it? But passionate. No, I'll go assertive. Good win, boys. Well done. That's good. This is good stuff. Great, great stuff. This is two wins in a row we're on now. And uh, this might take us up a little bit higher in the league, maybe even. Um, who knows? Who knows? But uh, this is good stuff so far from the Gosport Gamble. Um, I'm now up to ninth place and I'm only four points away from the playoff. So I'm not saying anything, but... 
just saying well or just just not saying but anyway that will be do for now uh thanks for joining me today the next uh i'll probably play a couple more games i might then play either um the chelsea game or something like that Hayes and yedding we'll see we'll see how we go maybe maybe i'll do more than one more video for this season because this is getting a bit close now isn't it it's getting a little bit close but we'll see anyway thanks for joining me today uh if you like this stuff then do give me hit me the like button um and do subscribe if you're not subscribing already um i'm on twitter at worst f manager also on twitch at worst football manager ever um but thanks for joining me today and until next time i'll see you later